We've got, um, is it Steve? Yes. A and you have a better way to frame framing. <laughs> well, w most of the time when I t hear about words like framing and framing, this is like the first time I've heard it, rhetoric called framing. Um, I always notice people talk about what it does, but they don't talk about how it's done. And, um, you know, most decisions are made rationally or emotionally and that it seems that uh, framing or rhetoric um, uses the fact that most of us do a lot of things emotionally, make a lot of decisions emotionally. That's true. And uh, to, to, to understand emotions, I found it best to use emotion pumps. And the simplest way to get into emotion pumps is to talk about uh, how uh, some, some one would be like the problem solution, another one would be what comedians use, which I call the sad mad, and that's uh, where you start off like uh, Rodney Dangerfield, looking like silly, sad, you know, I don't right. get no respect, and then you finish it with, uh, oh, um, Kind of a, 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 a righteous indignation, maybe. Yeah, where where you're you're mad or you're angry. Yeah, and that uh, people like Don Rickles may emphasize more the the mad state. And Lewis Black, Lewis Black would be a really good example of mad. Yeah, yeah, but basically it's a pump where the comedian on stage pumps the audience by showing sad expressions and then, you know. They're manipulating um, the audience's emotional state to get them on board with what they're getting ready to say. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's look how pathetic I am and um, I, I don't have any, you know, I, you know, nothing is going right in my life. There's actually and then, something. Instead of, feeling, instead of feeling sorry for the person, um, because it is a joke, because it is a play on words, or it's, you know, something that's, something that's silly. Um, we end up laughing. And I think the same thing's true with problem solution and inducing fear, where um, one of the ways I read was, uh, you know, if you laugh at somebody and then roll your eyes, um, that they kind of question themselves, like, a little fear, you know, like, who, me? You know, what? Am, am I saying something wrong? And that all of these emotions are kind of circular. And that the only people that I've heard that talk about this are ones that say that a lot of the problem with humanity is that we think linearly. And we make opposites out of, you know, love and hate and, you know, love and anger and stuff like that. And that confuses us. Whereas if you looked at it circularly, where, you know, we, we roll around these emotions and we play off of them, and it, it just, it's a circular thing, you tend to not be caught up in a linear or dualistic way of thinking, which is a really good way of thinking because it explains a whole lot of things like up and down and hot and cold. You know, a, a lot of framing does seem to be about manipulating emotions, and, and there is a lot of um, utility, I've noticed, to people using fear as a way of getting people to agree with them. And I think on the other side, there, there can be a tendency to, to sort of get, get upset about that. Like, look at that big, look at, look at that mean politician or, or uh, religious person who is using fear uh, to, to frame me. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I'm a strong advocate of is, you know, th those tactics are used because they work. Right. Uh, and it's not necessarily all that effective to whine about how well they're working about you, uh, but it is uh, how, how well it's working on you. Uh, but it is effective to take tactics that work and use them in legitimate ways. So whereas uh, they might say, uh, you know, whereas Pat Robertson might say that, that all the atheists and abortionists and stuff uh, caused 9-11 because God lowered his magical shield of protection, uh, 
which is absurd, but it gets the emotion across. I think it's equally effective to say, look at these lunatics like Pat Robertson who want to bring about the end of the world. Look, he wrote it right here. Yeah, and and also the the kind of the kind of. Uh sad, worthy underdog thing um, gets played up and used all the time, not just always humorously. As a matter of fact, it's in the Expelled movie. Expelled, yeah. You've got Ben Perfect Stein example. walking along saying, you know, where is this Discovery Institute? Oh, it, surely it must be this massive thing. And may, may, No, surely it must be this whole building. Well, you know, surely it must be a whole floor on this building. And, oh, it's only half a floor with, you know, 30 or so people? Oh, they're just a tiny group, and look how put upon they are by big science. <laughs> you know. So it gets, it, yeah, it gets used all the time, and I think I think those are great points about how perhaps we we not we not only don't have a good understanding of emotions and how they work, they you know they, most of us, um, and we're not always aware of how they're being manipulated, um, but certainly they are, and that's I think yeah I think it's one of the key elements to, well, to framing I, an issue. Well, I think one of the things that gets to me is the fact that um, the uh, the inability to understand emotions. I think really comes from a linear way of thinking about it and a circular way of thinking about it tends to get you out of it. Uh, one of the things I saw on some American Idol was uh, the contestant got really mad and started screaming and yelling and threatening the uh, judges, you know, like, come on up here, I'll kick your ass. How did that work for him? And, I, you know, the, the time I was watching it, because one of the judges was this big guy. And, you know, the whole time I was watching it, I was thinking, you know, that guy needs to lean back and laugh out loud as hard as he can. And it, what it does is it, is it kind of, it's kind of a spin. It's, it's kind of like if you see how emotions work, you know, it's, it's, it's like not laughing at a comedian or um, doing something like that where it, sends the person on, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you're trying to be Don Rickles, aren't you? Yeah, you're pretty funny. Uh, you know, this so, act may work, but so we're trying sort of to find make singers So sort of make here. a meta commentary in a way. Yeah. Well, you know, I and this is, this is how I see, you know, most people need to, like, look seriously at their, um, at, at, at what gets underneath their skin. You know, when, when, when they get really upset because someone is insulting them, They've got to realize that you, you know, your only defense against that because anybody on any part of the world can insult you, and if you're going to take offense and hurt from that, then you need to look at, hey, wait a minute, if I'm letting this guy push me around from afar, then, you know, I need to look at insults less as, um, oh my God, this guy insulted me, and you know, we need to do bad things against him as opposed to being able to um, treat it for what it is. Well, I, th and I, I guess one of the things you can do in a situation like that is change the frame to, oh, look, this guy called me a big jerk, to, oh, look, this guy is desperate because he's using ad hominems on me. Right. And that's, a, that's a good way to get things turned around for, for a target audience. Yeah. Well, yeah, I see that. I see that as happening. As, as, long, as, you, as long as you see that... We, we go through the same emotions in a circle over and over and over again, and we bounce them off each other, kind of skipping one. And then it's, you get into a roll, and then if you skip an emotion, you leave somebody kind of hanging. And if they're not aware of it, then they're being pushed into an emotional state. And if they are aware of it, then they immediately see what's happening to them, realizing that they can't go backwards, they just go forwards in this circle of I, different I think, emotional states. I, I think we're kind of getting back. off track at this point, Stephen. I'm not, I'm not sure that I follow all that, but we, I'm certainly open to discussing it more. we got uh, other calls online, definitely some, some good points about framing there with, and how emotions are used for that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to other callers. We should and also remind people stuff, that yeah. you can uh, send mail to right. tv at atheist-community.org. That, yeah, that was next. Thanks, Steve.